Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the capitulum or racemose head, which is the type of simple racemose inflorescence. It is also known as anthodium, and it is a highly advanced inflorescence. Now, in this inflorescence, the peduncle is flattened In this inflorescence, peduncle is flattened to form a receptacle that bears a small sessile flowers called florets. The florets are arranged in centripetal fashion or centripetal manner that is younger towards the center while older towards the periphery. This inflorescence is surrounded by one or more whorls of bracts which are termed as involucre. So this is a receptacle and these are the florets which it bears and this is representing a involucre these are also the involucre now the types of heads so heads or capitulums are classified into two types first one is homogamous heads and another one is heterogamous heads in homogamous heads only one type of florets are present which may be of two types that is all disc floret type or all ray florets type The examples of all disc floret types are Vernonia and The examples include Vernonia and Notononia. The examples include Vernonia and Notonia, while the all ray florets type include Tagetus 
and the zinnia. Another type is heterogamous heads. In this type, both types of florets are present. Examples include Helianthus, Annus, that is sunflower, and also the tridex is another example. Now, in sunflower, rib florets on the periphery and disc florets in the center can be observed. So, sunflower is not a flower but an inflorescence. When the section of sunflower is taken, the ray florets can be easily observed on the periphery and the disc florets can be easily observed in the center. All are sessile and on the surface of receptacle. These are surrounded by involucral bracts or involucre. Now we will differentiate the disc floret and the ray floret. These are the structures of disc floret and the ray florets. First point is the location. Disc florets are central while the ray florets are peripheral. These are central disc florets are bisexual. We can observe the anther and the ovary stigma style. So it is bisexual. But here the peripheral ray florets are either sterile or female. Next is appearance. These appear to be tubular while these appear to be ligulate because they are associated with corolla. Another difference is the symmetry. If symmetry is observed then these are actinomorphic which means these are radially symmetrical while the ray florets are zygomorphic. So these are the various types of florets and the inflorescence of capitulum or head type. Thanks for watching this video.